in the 90s it became hip to hate Ewoks. But let's go back to 1986 and look at 11 year old that really hated Ewoks, action figure commercials, and more. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, Junk Man, coming back at you with a new video. Yeah, it's that time again. Um, we're going to go back to 1986 here. I look at this news article from someone that says they're 11 and they're really upset at the commercialization. Is that a word? Commercialization? Advertisement for Star, for Star Wars toys, G.I. Joe toys, and more. Although I had no issue with Cabbage Patch dolls. Um, I really don't think this is an 11 year old. So we're gonna expose this very old news article. Now, before we get started, as always, become a Patreon YouTube member, get some exclusive content, or head over to jumpmanmerch.com and get some cool t-shirts. That one right here. Okay, let's go to this news article dated December 16th, 1986. Now, I know this is probably hard to read by looking at it, so we're gonna read over each paragraph and kinda analyze what's being said. And then you can tell me if you believe that this Jason G. Green is really 11 years old. So let's just start with the first part of the article, the Dear Editor. I'm generally distressed by the hard exportation of the American toy market. I see many toys out today that make my spine curl with disgust. And it seems like the new ones, which are as bad or worse, come out daily. First, starting right off. Does this sound like it's written by an 11 year old? Now I know there are some 11 year olds that are smarter than other 11 year olds, and I know there's some 11 year olds that are dumber than other 11 year olds. <sighs> What's the word? Distress by the horrors, exploitation of the American toy market. Come on, what 11 year old in 1986 or today talks like that, especially writes a letter like that to an editor in the newspaper? Let's go on. Certain lines personally make me sick. G.I. Joe, for example. The U.S. Army advertises itself enough without driving the 10-year-old completely gun-ho. I don't believe that most of the American toy users realize the true horror of war. Sometimes I believe that a group of reject engineers tempts the techno toy design for their line. If this is an 11-year-old, this is the most 11-year-old Karen I've ever seen. I don't even know where to start with nitpicking this one to death. 10 year olds going completely gun hold because they watch G.I. Joe, the cartoon or the commercials or the toys. Now I'm sure maybe G.I. Joe made some people enjoy the military or look into joining the military when they got older, but they wanted to fight for the country, fight against the evil Cobra. Let's go on. And the advertising, I believe that commercials for these undesirable products caused at least 50% of the problem. One which happened to catch my eye this afternoon was the Ewok Family Village playset, or something similar, part of the Kenner Star Wars collection. It showed people in Ewok suits dancing and children doing the same. Then the children, using the playset, acted out the 22nd adventure, with adults occasionally jumping in like pigeons. Then it was back to dancing for five more seconds, and the commercial ended. Again, this is not written at all like an 11 year old. Who is buying this? Who is believing this as an 11 year old? I guess the editors of this newspaper. Now, they were complaining about the Ewok, was Ewok Family Village playset, and I thought they were first talking about the Kenner Ewok Village playset. Uh, but this is, but I watched the commercial here. It's Ewok Village, I must see my friends. Let's set, I'll get them. Dear me, what a close call. It's C-3PO, new Lowbray and Ewok Village playset. Action figures, eat sold separately. You have to put it together. I'm Lowbray, the Ewok medicine man. Take me to your leader. Your throne, O oh Golden King, will celebrate with special stew, a barbecue. No celebration for me until my friends are free. Very well, Your Majesty. Ewok Village playset from Star Wars Return of the Jedi collection. Action figures sold separately, new from Kenner. And you can see it's nothing like described here. So I'm guessing this is the Ewok family, well, family vintage playset. They just say family, so maybe I should have went there first. But it's a lot, I mean, they make it sound sinister, but here's the actual commercial. Attention, Earth parents, galactic news flash. We're watching the Ewoks from Return of the Jedi. They're celebrating because kids everywhere love their Ewok family hunt. We can help the tropical Skywalker. Hurry, Ewoks. Let's take the wagon, Princess Nisa. The Ewoks save the day. Yay! 
It's a galaxy of fun. The Ewok Family Hut and other Wicked the Ewok toys, each sold separately. New from Kenner Preschool. I didn't see the parents jumping in like pigeons. <sighs> Hurry, Ewok. Let's take the wagon, Princess Lisa. It was just a couple of Ewoks dressed up, kids playing with a child playset. What was the problem with this? I really don't I don't understand what they're so upset about. This is this is the dumbest article I ever read. Okay, let's go on. The fact that the adults were getting so extremely excited was particularly unnerving to me. I thought that the interaction moments were overdone. In my opinion, the advertising agencies which handle the accounts for the major toy market of this country should rethink the entire advertising strategy for this market. So far, the commercials for these items have had a very negative impression on me. 11 year old, right. Let's see, let me look over here again. Listen to this one here. In my opinion, the advertising agencies, which handle the accounts for the major toy markets of the country, no 11 year old knows anything about who making these commercials, if they're made by an agency or they're made by the actual toy company. And let's go back to this paragraph again. That he says that the adults were getting extremely excited. This is extremely excited. Okay, let's read more. It's going to sound less like a literary old, even more. And what about the pseudo advertising, which is becoming so common today in most of America's major toy lines, have been featured in at least one half hour television special? While many have their own syndicated series, I can think of quite a few off the top of my head, including Strawberry Shortcake, The Care Bears, The Bobots, and The Transformers. What the hell is Bobot? And again, Pursuto Advertising. What 11 year old says? I don't even know. I wouldn't even use that. Pursuto Advertising, which is becoming common today in most Americans' major toy lines. This is 11 year old. I hate this. This is an 11 year old Karen. I said it once, I'll say it again. I don't never use that word much Karen. It seems overused, but now I know what they're talking about. A Karen. Let's go on. The one major toy line which has managed to keep its dignity is the Cabbage Patch Kids. Although they have produced two record albums, G.I. Joe, the GoBots, and the Transformers have been featured in three day to one week miniseries. That's it. We've exposed who this person is. It's not an 11 year old. It's a middle class mother. Because who liked Cabbage Patch Dolls the most? You guessed it. The moms. The customers were standing in front of this store at 7 o'clock this morning. The store didn't open until 9 and only a few Cabbage Patch Dolls were going on sale. Well, I, t I had to take what they gave me, and they gave me a boy, and I wanted a girl. I, this is my second trip around. My husband works here, and I can't even get what I want. You did not get a Cabbage Patch doll this morning. No, I did not. How badly do you want one? Very, very badly. The moms were obsessed with getting these kids the Cabbage Patch doll. Sure, kids loved Cabbage Patch dolls. Girls did, and but it was the moms that like wanted them that was beating people up in the store for them. And here, this whole article, you know, attacking G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Bobots, Gobots, Transformers, you name it. Can't attack Cabbage Patch Dolls. Got to say, well, okay, they did make it a record album, which probably has to be one of the worst record albums ever. Can't even imagine. But who liked, in 1986, Cabbage Patch Dolls the most? You guessed it. Middle class, white, overweight mothers. Let's read on. This form forces the viewers to keep watching for multiple days. Being smothered in real and pseudo advertising for the corporations all the while. Again, just the wording is so not even trying to act like 11 year old. Pseudo, I even had to look it up to see what it means. Pretending to be something that is not. I didn't even know that. I guess something that is not. <laughs> like these fake My Little Ponies. And let's look at the last paragraph. Therefore, I issue this final warning to the toy manufacturers. How dare you! Remember the power of the libraries, for they shall be your undoing. Sincerely, Jason G. Green, age 11. A final warning. Well, I don't even know. Why is this person so angry about toys? 
I don't understand. 1986, 11, yeah, right. Come on now. <sighs> Whoever this person is, if it's 11, it's somebody you don't want to hang out with if you're 11. It has to be the most grumpiest kid at your school. But we all know it's not someone 11. It's probably someone between 30, I'd say closer to 40, between 40 and 50, somewhere in that middle age range. Again, probably married, wearing mom jeans, probably driving a minivan. Not to stereotype anyone. I could be wrong. But they did give a final warning to the toy manufacturers. And there's something about going to the libraries. I don't know. Anyway, this is an article from 1986. Maybe I'm a completely out of line here and you're like, hey, in 1986, when I was around 11, I, I thought just like this. In fact, I thought of writing a letter just like this to a newspaper. And who knows, maybe you're the Jason G. Green that wrote this. If you are, let me know. I would love to talk to you. I can't believe that Ewok commercial could upset someone so much. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Was this article on point? Do you agree? Do you think they were 11 years old? Or do you think it was an overweight, middle-class white mom? I'm going with that. Well, as always, please sum up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, jump that <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.